doing the learning analytics in some universities. Also in, in Japan, uh, today uh, we discuss about uh, not learning analytics in the world because the uh, Europe and the American the much progress and accepted the concept of the learning analytics. But uh, today the, we should discuss about learning analytics in the Asian region. So the, we have the, our you know, cultural background. So the, it's sometimes uh, difficult to introduce uh, some concept. But uh, we must discuss about the future you know, online training, you know, mediated uh, environment. Uh, that's why the, I try to introduce the learning analytics today. Let me give some more time. Okay. Totally different from Thai. You know, in the university, that we have the two countries. One is administrative. This is academic. Yes. So in your country, Atikan can control the all. We cannot just only the lesson. You know, this is money. Different person coming to control is difficult. <laughs> okay. So the shall we go? The uh, distinguished speakers, participants, ladies and gentlemen, um, good afternoon and welcome back for the afternoon session of the 9 TCU International E-Learning Conference. Um, there are a total of the four invited speakers for this afternoon session, and all of them are very, very interesting. So um, you should not miss it, so stay with us until of four fifteen, please. <laughs> okay. Um, first, may I um, introduce our first speaker, um, Professor Yoshida Masami from the Faculty of Education, Chiba University. He will give the presentation on the topic of MOOCs in the future: institutional reform to actuate learning analytics for the Asian universities. So everyone, please give a warm welcome to Professor Yoshida Masami. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm from Japan. That today, I would like to introduce two things. So one is uh, MOOCs, that you already know. The another one is uh, rather new in the Asian region, is uh, learning analytics. Have you ever heard? So the, most of you are major in the educational technology. If so, the, you already know about the, uh, instructional analysis, the old-fashioned type, you know? Analysis for the lesson. But the learning analysis, it looks like an analysis for student. But not only the student, but also the institute teacher, sometimes people in the other university will use data. So the, let me introduce the LA. It's a new field of the research, you know, intent to be the related to the online education. Especially LA is centered in the online education. This is not the alternative the technology know, uh, of the like uh, MOOCs. This is a uh, newly coming the environment, sometimes the infrastructure. So the MOOCs and the LA working, possible to working together is an environment. Sometimes this will be the basics of the MOOCs. Also the 
for the cyber learning growing amount of the educational data and the management and the required to introduce evidence-based education. This was coming because of the like a technological development can manage the big data. So far, it was difficult to manage a huge number of the data. For example, the few thousand data using at the same time, this, it was difficult. So that was the time that we tried to select the data in the educational settings. You know, if we getting the data, you no, know, please remember about the instructional design. We take the video, we collecting the protocol and the huge data. But we try to change the, these big data into the categories. That was uh, our method. But in this case, we try to use the original data at the same time by using the technology. Okay? But uh, also, the, in this case, we have the other concept is the construction model is a target. So far, the, we make the many educational study based on the theory. For example, the behaviorist theory, constructivist theory, you know, there are many principles of the education. By using the, this kind of the theory, we setting the object in the target and the purpose. You know, uh, also, the selecting the criteria to evaluate the education and the student. But in this case, we didn't set any you know, predefined the target. You know. Beginning should be the data. To collect the big data, from the data, we try to develop the model. It's a method. Also, the context will be used by the applying the model. LA was introduced as the future technology for education. Yes, uh, uh, maybe the beginning of the penetration of the uh, LA should be the around this, 2011. Also, the LA provides the meaning to data emerged from the student. And the goal is to optimize education by almost real-time data analysis. So to explain that this kind of real time is like this. This is a model proposed by the Gartner Foundation in the US. Also, the, mm, more than 10 years, I frequently introduced this kind of the model, including the TCU conferences. So, so far, the, we try to make the academic study about the past. You know, Collecting the data, try to explain about the data, is a research about the past. Okay? But uh, now we must challenge the future. For example, the collecting the data and uh, try to contribute to the future education is the next educational research method. So, in a way, also the same. You know, their target is the future. For that purpose, before that, they try to understand the present. You see, uh, that I mentioned, we collected the huge data, but, uh, you know, technology is limited. So we try to summarize the data, we try to select the data. That is going to the study about the past. So if we try to study about the present, is uh, Real time, no, <clears throat> real time uh, analysis is the uh, basics. After finalizing the uh, real time analysis, uh, we must uh, go into the next one, forecast. For example, we get the data of the student. So we have many students. One of the most important things is that we must know the student is going to drop out. Okay? This is the forecasting about the future. If we can find the student going to the, like a dropout, we can do something for him. Okay? This is uh, one of the concepts of the LA. Sorry, my English. I never live in the English native country. The, you know, my English is uh, broken. 
the Japanese grammar is totally different from the English. So, okay. <laughs> One of the examples of the LA, though, uh, they call the matrix. In other words, uh, in other words, <laughs> matrix is uh, like a kind of the indicator so far, you know, viewpoint. So the there is a many study about the LA, but uh, each study have the different criteria that we cannot share, you know, we cannot compare. So the uh, some institute they uh, propose the uh, metrics is the indicator. This is the one of the examples, the caliper. Uh, show the standard of metrics. Student requirement and the retention plan, program, curriculum, course design, basic unit learning activity, and something like that. So the difference between the MOOCs and the LA. MOOCs also the collecting the data for courses, one courses. Course A, teacher must know the student ID and the student name and something like that. No? So the, in this case, LA is not only the one course, but also the try to collect all the courses. Sometimes not only the data from the courses, data from the outside university, like uh, data from the student daily activity, something like that. You know, so the, that is the difference. So the method of the LA is uh, like a learning event. <coughs> Online data or the other data, profile, LMS, e-portfolio, everything. You know, they try to collect and uh, uh, put into the storage. You know, huge data in the one of the database. And uh, data cleaning is a kind of the editing of the data. You know, so th this is the crucial part of the process of the LA. You know, spending the time, spending the money, and uh, uh, to make the cleaning of the data and the analysis and the visual data optimization. It's a process, you know. So the next, <coughs> this is an example. <coughs> e example of the metrics like this. We can see the comprehensive the metrics inside. Some metrics we already use in the MOOCs, but uh, other metrics sometimes uh, we use in the uh, university management and the lesson management. You know, uh, sometimes uh, uh, we don't uh, use so much in the uh, academic field, but uh, now in the MOOCs we try to include in the all the uh, possible data into the array. This is a layer of the learning service. This is also the uh, difference between the MOOCs and the LA. That's I mentioned, that even the MOOC, you collect the data from the student. But uh, this data will be used for the teacher or sometimes the university. You know? Actually, that we use the data for improvement of the lesson and the curriculum, but uh, this will not be used by the student directly. But uh, in case of the LA, all the data should be shared by the different player, like a learner, teacher, environment, also the university as well. So the, in that purpose, notify the older member layer and share the theme and the scope of the LA. Oh, something like that. In my university, you know, many difficulties are coming, you know. You know? <laughs> That's only the story here, or oh, video. <laughs> okay. Usually, the, we make the score of the student zero to 100. You know, you saying? Yes. And uh, we have the, like, a regulation. Less than 60 is a fail, you know. Coming again in the next year, something like that, 60. But my university, you know, they ask us, 
the 6200 with the Gaussian distribution. It's difficult. It's a natural setting, the, you know, 0 to 100 and the Gaussian distribution, easy. You know, can you develop the examination? You know, so distribute between 60, 100. It's uh, extremely difficult. But uh, they mind about uh, like uh, uh, distribution. Uh, like this, uh, the many problem happen. You know, they control the many things, you know. Okay, but uh, in my university, that's I said, student must know the, how is going in the university because the university collect the data, also they using the data for the academic purpose and the administrative purpose. But the student must access their own data as well. For that purpose, the, we introduce a new lesson, like big data, Python, and R and AI, something like that. This lesson is uh, try to provide it for the first and the second year student, you know? Because uh, to give the chance to access and use their own data. And uh, also the challenge, that someone say the privacy, security, hindrance factor, the, uh, no, the identification. It's extremely difficult. Please thinking about, okay, we hide the ID and the name of the student. No? But other data we access. But uh, you know, many friends, this student takes a discredit, uh, this lesson. Also, the, he knows that this student used a one, two, three lesson. Or this is student is man, something like that. If we collect some you know, related data, the three or four, we can identify the name. You know? Even we hide, try to hide the ID and the student name, we can access. You know, and many student access. So actually, the, we have the series of the study in the Western country, like the US. And the, in the US, uh, uh, they made a questionnaire to the student to ask the opinion about the LA. And uh, many of the students accept the LA because they would like to know the data of other people. You know? That is totally different. Initially, the we mind about the student must know their own data for improving their learning. But uh, in fact, all the students learning and uh, also uh, living in the SNS society, so that they would like to know the data of other students. You know, then students can accept the LA in the US. I don't know in the Asia, but uh, in Japan, it's very, very difficult. We cannot open at this moment the data to the student because uh, maybe students can identify the personal information immediately after we disclose the data. Okay, example of the learning uh, analytics layer <coughs> is a personal lesson faculty the institution. It's an example of the uh, an, uh, another university in the, uh, close to the Osaka. They have the, this kind of the, uh, data collection from the lesson. And uh, next is the analysis. Uh, let me introduce the uh, fundamental procedure of the Analysis of the LA. University collect the profile, variety of the profile of the student first. And uh, also the university collect the performance of the student, you know. Many performance. But uh, if we using the online as a method, the easy to collect the student activity and put into the platform of the visualization, okay? And uh, this is because uh, to develop the hypothesis. Because as I say, that this study is not for the past. No? Study for the future. 
So the, to develop the hypothesis is very important. But uh, it's uh, not correct all the time. You know. In fact, uh, we need to uh, construct a model and a hypothesis and a model and a hypothesis. You know, there is a, uh, this kind of the double loop and the triple loop, something like that. You know, uh, we need to uh, edit the hypothesis and model again. Okay, and uh, <coughs> this is a method. Next. <coughs> so the TensorFlow, have you ever heard? The, you try to access when I back to your home. In the, so the, this is a trouble. <laughs> Some of the people in the university, especially like across to the Atikan, across to the president, if they see the, this kind of the technology, they love, they would like to introduce. So the Usually, the, we use uh, that kind of the traditional you know, statistic method, you see? But uh, please understand, this kind of the data analysis is based on the Gaussian distribution. All the data should be the Gaussian distribution, no? In other words, we need to put the student inside the box, like a classroom, no? If we try to make a study about the natural environment, like SNS and Shosar, you know, distribution is not the Gaussian distribution. Distribution should be the power law. You know, we can say, this morning, the, uh, some, uh, uh, some Malaysian professor introduced, you know, most of the user is inactive you know, in the social network. So that is the answer. But in my university, the Gaussian distribution from the 60 to 100 is difficult. Anyway, no. So actually, the, so far that we try to mind about the, all the things put in, into the box and uh, try to make the SPSS adapt to the like, uh, data. But now, here comes the new way of the study we can collect a variety of the huge number of the data. But fortunately, the Google pro providing the service, please access, put the data automatically, this program gives the model. It's a totally black box. You know, we cannot understand the black box, but uh, easy to develop the model based on the huge number of the data. So the, uh, Unfortunately, <laughs> some of the, some of the you know, stakeholders in the university, they saw that this kind of the example. I want to know, I want to use this kind of like, you know. Uh, actually, the, this service is uh, not so uh, uh, expensive. But uh, that's what I mentioned, uh, to collecting the data and uh, also editing the data, we need the time and the uh, people and the money as well. Okay. Then, Japanese strategy. Also, the, we have the, some uh, ICT company, you know, many ICT like Fujitsu and uh, they offer the uh, commercial, profitable uh, LA service. I heard uh, even in Thailand, uh, some Japanese company try to sell the array system in the university something. Yes, we already have. You know, so the, that is uh, also the based on the same concept. Uh, also that they have the, some uh, example of the like uh, output. Uh, this is an example of the Kyushu University. So the one of the some uh, uh, pilot university, you know, supported by the Ministry of Education. They process uh, some uh, uh, sophisticated advanced uh, study in the university. But uh, they could not cover the old the lesson. They selected the, some pilot lesson and uh, uh, to collect the data put into the array. And uh, like this. 
target is a little bit different from the Western style. You know, they are targeting on the like a improve, right, like a conventional improvement of the student, improvement of the lesson. You know, and uh, this is another example uh, from the Kyushu University. Like uh, also the uh, reaction analyzer, something like that. Also in English, like uh, you, usually that we use uh, gamification. It's also the, uh, they're providing the, that kind of the chances. But the data of the gamification is going to the array all the time, okay? So the, uh, also the prediction of the final score, something like that. Here comes the some problem. So the, uh, is there someone from the field of the medical doctor and the pharmacy or, no? Okay, so the, uh, there is a Hippocrates or something like that. If the people is a medical doctor, in front of the uh, medical doctor, there is a patient, immediately should help him something like that, you know? That is the worldwide rule in the medical doctor. In case of the education, if in front of us, there is a student going to drop out, we should help or not. It's very important because if we totally introduce array in the university, we can see the many students going to drop out. Also, that this morning, the summer uh, professor mentioned about 90% uh, uh, of the students fail. Only 10% remaining in the MOOCs. Okay. So the, please ima imagine about that. If you operate the uh, online lesson in your university, also uh, under the registered student, we can see that some student going to drop out. We should or we can help the student or not. It's very important. So the, like this. We can collect the many data, but at the same time, we need to develop the, our what? code of practice, something like that. You know, we need, must develop the, our code of practice based on the academic and the educational mind. Okay? Argument. Difficulty. Oh. Instru yes, yes, yes. It's difficult. You know, many of the professor, professor cannot give the data. <laughs> okay? Some voluntary professor, okay, join the project. But uh, it's difficult. Also, the meaning would be disappear. Okay. You know, usually we have the custom, you know. Uh, uh, we have the one lesson. Also the one lesson have the story and the content and the context, you know. So many domain specificity inside the lesson. But in this case, you know, over the lesson, across the lesson, we exchange the data, something like that. So that we collect the data more and more, we lost the context more and more, something like that. You know, so contextual problem. Also the uh, barriers course, yes, uh, difficult research method. Yes, uh, big data have the different, uh, actually the different uh, uh, statistics, you know, uh, calculation also the different, you know. In my personal I changed uh, to make the big data analysis also that you already using the different statistics. You know, apart from the, like, SPSS. But uh, still they mind about, uh, like, uh, Gaussian distribution. We MOOC and the Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. This is an example in Japan. Like you, in Thailand, uh, someone asked me that, like, uh, Thailand have the difficulty about the personal information, something like that. In Japan, is the same. Also, the, uh, in our country, the MOOCs, it actually we have the project of the MOOCs, but uh, uh, not so many, you know. 
uh, only the limited university. Also, the, their target is not uh, like uh, Thailand, like uh, university use and uh, community use. In our country, the private university use and uh, like uh, advertisement of the university, something like that. A little bit different. So the QC University developed a strategy. Actually, in Japan, mediated education is seen in the e-book. Especially the elementary and the secondary school, their textbook already move into the you know, some sophisticated ebook. Not only the ePub, including the like uh, some uh, technological simulation, uh, something like that, or oh, all, all the attribute including. So the in the university also we try to change our educational content into the like uh, uh, digital. Is first, not uh, going to the MOOC directly. Also, the uh, strategy, the ebook first, and uh, including the LA, and uh, finally, like a European style uh, uh, MOOC with LA as well, is the strategy in Japan. How, how about uh, in Thailand? Uh, you, you are already uh, using the MOOCs well. Is it possible to go into the directly? But uh, also, the, like Japan, the, we have the, you have the difficulty about the personal information, the, you know. Uh, so the, before that, the, maybe the, we must have the, some study about the, asking the opinion of the student. You know? Do you want to see the personal information for your own and the other's personal information, you know? So the, diff uh, maybe the, we have the, some... Uh, a different level of the acceptance between the Japan and the uh, East and the Western people. Okay. Another difficulty. MOOCs. In case of the MOOCs, you know, Nowadays, the MOOCs is not only uh, uh, online. Especially the in campus lesson, the MOOCs is used for the flipped classroom, something like that. That means the combination between the face-to-face -face and the online. Okay? But uh, LA try to collect the, all the data. The possibility that should be the, all the things should be the online. It's a little bit different. And uh, also the LA collecting the data for developing the model from the other available data, you know, is a totally different purpose uh, of the MOOCs. So the, the next is how MOOCs can adapt the increasing the request of the uh, relational data structure of the other purpose. You see? In the course A, we collect the data in the MOOC. But uh, sometimes, in the many cases, data will be used for the different purpose and the different lesson. So the, should the teacher and the student can accept that, that kind of the situation or not is very important. Okay? Also, the, oh, in Japan, the, actually, the, this is the different uh, uh, Experience API is the different, uh, like a Calipa. Uh, do you know SCOM? You know, SCOM is uh, like Irani. This is also the same origin, you know, specification of the data. Now in Japan, we use this one. Uh, also, the MOOC protection personal data, uh, LA big data, uh, this uh, that's I mentioned. Result of the prediction, responsibility of the institute to take the action, uh, that's I mentioned. You know, if we process a MOOC, we must think about the responsibility of the educational people. For the study and the MOOCs for LA, so far, now in Japan, oh, this is, the, discussing about the use data of the MOOCs by the more comprehensive purpose and the user, we need to discuss. We also discuss, but it's difficult. So, to share the data between the course is okay. But uh, to share the data over the university is uh, difficult, very difficult. 
But if we're thinking about the OER book, you know, content should be shared across the institute, across the people. You know, how about the, in the future we cannot find? But uh, someone said uh, in the uh, morning, so that this kind of the student activity can be profitable. It's a good business on the income, something like that. Maybe the, you know, uh, this is a strategy of the company. Technological challenge developed platform, okay. This is uh, like a, uh, now in Japan we discuss, we are not so sophisticated, not progress. But uh, step by step, we must solve the problem of the like a human communication you know, before introducing the fully in the right way. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Yoshida, for such a fruitful session of, um, you know, you sharing with us about uh, learning analytics and the uh, MOOC. Mm -hmm. So um, we still have some time for the question and answers. Um, and uh, just for more information, he can speak Thai, so you can try asking him in Thai and then... <laughs> <laughs> Any question from the pro? Yes, please. Yeah, oh. uh, prof, um, okay. I have a question relating to what does it take to set up a learning analytics mm. unit in the university? Mm. Mm? How do you set up a learning analytics unit? What do you need? I mean, in terms of people or in terms of systems? Depend on the university mind. In case of my university, the, some university executive, few, they just love. They are coming from the faculty of medicine. <laughs> they try to uh, use uh, technology because uh, recently the university in the world is changing. Maybe the, like, uh, going to the more professional style. You know? uh, if, especially in the graduate school. Uh, we have the target. For example, the faculty of education, the how many percentage of the student can pass the examination to be the teacher, something like that. You know? <coughs> Medical doctor was the same. So the many of the professors change their mind because uh, used to be the like academic degree is the final answer, is the bye-bye. But now we have the responsibility about the real competence of the student. So the, uh, they are easy to accept the concept of the learning analytics because uh, that is close to the, like, uh, uh, making the study about the, our uh, process of the education, something like that. Okay, Professor. <laughs> First of all, I would like to say thank you very much for your insightful presentation today and the learning analytics is a very important topic. However, we agree with you that uh, to forecast it is a bit, you know, difficult is the part, is the difficult part. And could you suggest any, you know, software or any open sources that we can plug in onto the learning management system to do the learning analytics. I used to uh, search about it, but I did not implement. It's called CLASS, C-K-L-A-S-S. Uh, it's also the open source that we can plug in on the, you know, uh, like uh, the Moodle. It's also do the learning analytic part for the open source. Is there any implementation or tryout at your university with all kind of these similar open source? Okay. Maybe the, I must say about the situation in Japan. The yes. Usually we use a profitable commercial product for LA. No? Use also that. But in your case, uh, many of the universities try to use the Moodle with free of charge, uh, and open source. Open yes. source, that's yes. mentioned. Open source. Because, you know, we mind about the uh, intellectual property and the security. Also, the in the process of the LA, you know, data cleaning, you know, will take the cost on the people on the, you know, that is a crucial part of the process. 
we don't want to have the, any problem about the, that kind of the path. So that we use a company like uh, outsourcing. No. So the, I, I, I cannot recommend uh, because the most cases seen in the Japan is uh, using the profitable software. Like uh, Moodle in the US, I, I, as I know, the only 30%, remaining 17% is the commercial product, something like that. That is uh, okay. Yes. But uh, in the Thailand, it's also the same. Human is uh, expensive year by year. Yes. So if we try to expensive human yeah. and uh, cheap, uh, cheap software, uh, free of charge software, but in the future, you have better profitable software with the services much cheaper to manage in the university. Yes. Okay. As you mentioned about the cleaning data, yeah. and also in your presentation mentioned about the big data. Yeah. Yes. So when we say big data, how long and also how big of the data that we have to correct from student? We don't have so years? much uh, history, but a few years. But uh, in the future, maybe uh, they want to uh, archive the, you know, a few decades, something like that. They think like this. Okay. Yes. But uh, if I'm thinking about the history of the media, the depend on the progress of the media, the, we need to have the additional attribute of the data. So the old-fashioned data will not be available in the future, something like that. Okay. okay. Ah, Surama. Dari mana? Dari Malaysia. Ah, Surama petang. Surama petang. <laughs> Very nice, bro. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to ask about JMOOC. JMOOC. Yes. So your university is it when um, in JMOOC they compile all the MOOCs and with other uh, the platforms. So are you? when you develop your own MOOC in your university, so is it co incorporated in JMOOCs? And okay. Uh -huh. My university, one of the, uh, one of the uh, public universities in Japan, is not a member of the JMOOC. But my university, we use MOOCs, uh, uh, Moodle, Moodle, because we are poor. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> we are poor. <laughs> we, oh, five minutes. So, so the, the but uh, you know, also the I have the close relation with a, a professor working in the for the movie. Uh, the, maybe the that I mentioned the totally different because uh, we cannot see the, any benefit to join the move. You know, we have the strong regulation of the uh, credit. You know, we have the one course one credit. Uh, 20,000, uh, uh, around 200 US is a fixed price. If we provide in the credit with face-to-face, uh, -face, 200 US. Online, 200 US. But if we move to the United States, uh, you know, United States can get uh, 50 US additional something. We cannot get that. So the, it's a difficult to setting up the, such kind of the mediated uh, uh, enterprises in the university. Because there, there's no benefit for the professor to develop the content, no budget, you know. Face to face and the paper is the cheapest good way, the cost of performance, something like that. You know. So that we need to change, you know, before that. So the MOOCs in the campus and the credit may be the difficult. But the MOOCs for the public, you know, lifelong. It's possible, but uh, we, our country is uh, very strict about the copyright. You know, the copyright in the educational purpose, copyright in the other purpose is uh, totally different. You know, so the, it's sometimes we are afraid about the copyright problem. For example, the, once I made uh, some copyright problem, you know, some uh, important uh, information put into the course for the people, you know, disclosed and they're using by the different, uh, no, I will lose my job. No, the many people are afraid about the copyright, intellectual property. So that is why it may be the, uh, difficult. But some universities, they are university level, they are very active to develop the, some courses for the advertisement of the university and uh, try to enhance the recruitment of the students, something like that. It's very eager. 
So that may be the difference of the situation of the country. No, we don't want to deny about the excellent activity in your country and the Thailand. You know, much progress than Japan. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.